Jason Farnham, do you prefer, uh, let's see, do you prefer hemi tank heads or elliptical heads on 500s? We spoke a few weeks back so on the phone. I mentioned I have in my position a 2002 500 tank that's a hemispherical head with uh, 36, is that 1875 316s head with a 218 body. However, I can get my hands on an older elliptical tank that's uh two five head 26 by you you said run what i got but however i found this other tank and grass is greener on the other side <laughs> i also found a 330. that's the three buddy get them all bro you're gonna build them all just get them all that's what i would do <laughs> sorry jason i had to say that uh, the grass is greener on the other side <laughs> So here's what here's the long and short of it. Um, honestly, to actually answer your question, uh, while I still laugh at my head about that. Um, all right. So on 500s, I like the deep heads for looks only, and the consistency of I can find that tank pretty much everywhere. That that 38 diameter, 120 inch long. Now, when you get into shallower heads on 500s, you wind up with a difference in length. And it could be shorter, um, it, you know, just because of that, it's going to usually be a bigger diameter. And I, I just kind of, I like a longer tank than I do bigger diameter. That's always how I've been. I feel like the bigger diameter doesn't get me as much real estate to cook on. Um, so that's why I pick that, that uh, hemispherical tank. Um, the, as far as the thickness goes, um, as long as it's, you know, reasonably close to a quarter of an inch. So like if it's, and as a matter of fact, if it's heavier than like five sixteenths, I'm not as excited. I, I don't care for it to be that thick, but it just means everything's heavier. Um, it means it's all more temperamental to work with um, and that kind of stuff. But if it's three sixteenths to quarter inch, game on, I am happy. So um, that's kind of how I feel, regardless of the head or the or the tank body. And uh, a 330 is like, that's a, not the same, but it's similar to what I built Bingo out of. And uh, that's one of my favorite tanks on the planet. I, I love, like, usually if I find those 30-inch diameter tanks that are 10 feet or longer, I'm grabbing them because I like I like to have those real long tanks. Bingo was a 30 inch diameter five uh, that was uh, uh, 13 feet long, 500 gallon. So those are awesome in my opinion. And I did, I told you to run what you got. Yeah, so Roy, that's awesome, buddy. Appreciated that I could answer that question for you. And we'll probably make podcasts out of some of these just so you guys know. Um, but yeah, that's my vote, Jason. I would, I would grab them all and build them all. That's kind of how I feel about it. Width wise, do you think a 500 gallon offset could fit on a 48 inch axle trailer? So the, the short answer is yes, it can. However, it needs to be like a 6,000 pound axle in my opinion. I personally will never put a 500 gallon on anything smaller than a 6,000 pound axle. So if you did a 48 inch axle, you will have a hard time finding that on the shelf. There is an outfit, I think, in Texas. I drove past there and I found a phone number for them and I called them and they do have 48 inch axles in stock and they do ship them all over the country. Um, but it's, it's very, type it in very carefully. It's trailerpartsoutlet.com. I was on the phone with a dude named Kyle and Kyle told me that they do have axles with 48 inch spring centers. So the cook chamber is 38 on my favorite 500 gallon tank. It'll be 38 or 37 and a half or whatever they tell you there. And about 120 inches long typically. So if you have that tank, um, that gives you five inches per side. And I think that's a very happy number for uh, an axle on that. Cause your, your deck on the trailer is gonna be 48 inches wide in that case. And, um, you know, it's, if you're not wanting to put, excuse me, if you're not wanting to put a bunch of sinks and all kinds of silly crap on there, you know, then, uh, you'll be good. 